Hey, what's good, y'all? I'm Salt. And this is your girl, Pepper. Salt and, and Pepper's, Pepper's here. here. And you're watching In This Room. On Madame Noir. Mwah. Keep pushing it, y'all. Ladies Night um, is a tour with SWV and Salt and Pepper. We decided to film it, make it a reality television show. Salt and Pepper have always toured and headlined uh, with men. This is the first time we've actually been on tour with women. So we wanted to see how that experience would be. And we did it with SWV because it's hip hop and R&B coming together. Well, me, yeah, I'm single and just want to clear up some. <laughs> yes, you know, the thing about me and young boys, if we know this question, um, I don't mind a young boy or whatever. It's not that I go out and go, ooh, he young, let me get him. No, I'm just looking for a man or a guy that can keep up. Whether you're young or whether you're older, just keep up. I'm spontaneous. And I'd like to meet that guy because I don't <laughs> think he exists. <laughs> I've been with you her 32 years up. and I cannot keep up. I'm sorry. So let's talk about me. Let's talk about my, sex, my relationship situation. <laughs> I'm one year divorced and me and my husband. I want to tell you I'm open. Okay, guys. <laughs> Pepper's open, y'all. Me and my husband been together. Our daughter's 27, you know, so we've been together 28 years, you know. Um, so having to go through that for me was like one of the darkest periods in my life because I was really committed to my relationship. But what I would say is that I realized that I was trying to fill a void in someone else and I didn't know when to let go, you know, and I kept trying to make something work that just was not working for him or for myself. Two beautiful kids, great. Haven't been dating, but I'm ready. I have been feeling like, you know, in ladies night, I even said I'm married to my my career. I'm, you know, I'm married to my myself. But right now I'm like, you know what? I can see meeting somebody and at least get my feet wet a little bit. Yeah, I just want to say and, and, you know, it's just like period in relationships, you know, you, you know, you you get involved with someone and at this point, you know what you're getting involved with as a grown and woman. As a grown woman. Mm -hmm. And for me as a mother, I'm grown in mind. I don't do anything that I might be regret, like, like, damn, I can't. You know, we all make mistakes, but anything that I do right now, I own up to it. I'm not defending anything. If I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I will admit that. Plastic surgery, I've done it. And I've done it before even Egypt was born. And the thing about parenting and the person I am and what I instill with my kids, they can see who I am. It's like you see your kids grow. They're not five now, they're 16. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they grow, <laughs> you know, sometimes. So they can see that I do things. I have an open relationship with my kids and I talk. And if I enhance something for me or do something for me, is that that's what I do is like put an extension in your hair or not. I'm transparent in what I do and I will speak about plastic surgery because that's something I did for myself. We've been holding out for telling our story for a long time. It's 32 years. Um, a lot of people have approached us on Peppa. We went out, you know, but it wasn't a fit. It wasn't a time. And now to still be doing what we're doing and we're with Lifetime, which we're gonna do it with them, you know, our story and um, it's time to tell it. The biopic is based on our friendship. You know, a lot of people don't know that, you know, we met in college and we worked at Sears with Martin Lawrence, Kid and Play, Herbie Lovebug, Salt and Pepper, you know, all of those stories being played out before we even made a record, you know, and then making a record and going to school um, in, in the daytime and working at Sears as a telephone solicitor <laughs> after school and doing shows on on the weekend and hustling and the grind and you know all those beautiful stories that built up mm -hmm. to us being successful but the foundation of the movie is for women and it is about friendship how do these two women one from Brooklyn one from Queens make it so far and stay together so long not only as artists but as friends mm -hmm. 